Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time, and today, hmm, I want to talk to you about the new Blackmagic Studio Camera 6K Pro. I'm not sure I got the name right, but I am interested. In fact, I have gone ahead to pre-order that camera. And in this video, I want to let you know why I did that and why you may want to consider the camera. All right, guys, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Two days ago, Blackmagic um, announced or introduced two new cameras along with their ATEM switches and the cameras are Blackmagic Studio 6K Pro and the Blackmagic Studio 4K Pro. I'm still getting used to those names. We've, we've had our share of uh, BMPCC. Um, here's my reasons and hopefully I can get up to five reasons. I'm not sure but first of all, I know I needed another camera now. If you know me on this channel, I used to have the Pocket 6K Pro had no problems with that camera actually i got the ursa and the pair with the Cisco pro was fantastic uh, but i started having troubles with um with focusing like most part of the videos will be out of focus and i didn't like that then i didn't know that i i had issues with my eyes i i felt like okay it looks like i'm losing my touch i went ahead and got the a74 which i have no regret i love this so much i got the fx3 okay uh once in a while when i have certain projects with the ursa 12k i still miss my 6k pro especially with the dual iso uh, base iso uh, which the ursa doesn't have also it's just a um best at 800 uh ISO. Besides missing the ISO, which could be sentimental, um, which could be, you know, emotional. I also started a, a company, you know, in August last year. I started my uh, event production co company, video production company. I wanted the also broadcast G2, but the price was too high uh, for me to pull the plug on. When they announced the Cisco Pro, it was like, okay, really? You know, now I know it's not the Cisco Pro that I expect. It's the same sensor. It probably will have dual ISO. I'm not sure yet, but I know it's got a high ISO. Um, uh, it has up to 25,000 um, ISO ability to go that high. I know. I know. I'm somebody who likes to break rules. When it comes, I'm going to take that camera and do everything that it's not supposed to do. I'm going to do, of course, um, a lot of studio work, like the interview, um, like the podcast, and a couple of um, studio productions that I cover. Um, I'm going to be using that as well, and it's going to be a plus. Um, I like the fact that this comes with SDI, so I'm going to, you know, be able to connect to my, you know, um, these are all, I've not seen anybody do it, but uh, I assume theoretically it should work. I'm going to connect my um, Blackmagic uh, Focus Assist 12G monitor. I'm going to pair it with the Cisco Pro and have ProRes recorded if I want to. If I'm using the, both the Focus and the Zoom, then it's most likely both will, um, will take up that spot where um i can i'm supposed to record black magic raw okay so but with the introduction of the um monitor i can record progress or black magic raw i want that view that look you know it's it's it looks professional the fact that i can do the talk back and stuff like that that alone is like a a win for me you know the fact that the um, cable the one cable can take all take audio um, and video and and get the uh, um, um, feedback. You know, in terms of uh, preview for what you're seeing, you could get talk back. You know, that is amazing. That is something I would love to have. You know, for the kind of uh, events I really want to cover. That will you know, and I would love to have. Uh, 
that demonstration on my site i intend to offer live streaming as well so let me see if i have enough points now iso the high iso ability with the studio cameras the um, fact that it has a sdi uh, smaller than the ursa a lot lighter and easier to mount it's just slightly bigger than the pocket cameras um, so that's still portable and the price the black magic pocket cinema 6k pro and the black magic studio 6k pro if you put them side by side you would think the 6k pro the studio one will be a lot more expensive because take a look at it it is a machine like it's it's got that Mm, serious vibe to it you know but i'm happy i'm happy that the price is not outrageous it's right there affordable and i'm gonna jump on it and um let me see if i have one more audio mm, the audio um large xl xl arrows they are large xl arrows um not mini now not that i have much problem with it but um from reviews i've seen the audio is a lot better than the the pocket uh, cameras according to black magic they claim that the 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 preamps in the in the studio cameras are second to none like best in the world that's what they claim so i um, i would love to have that and have my audio and all my sets recorded into the camera even though i'm gonna have backups externally i will always have but i would love to see that i i i value audio so much i've been messed up by audio too much not to care okay i care a lot about audio and i'm gonna keep caring about audio because that's not my strength and every way i can you know cover my behind i'm gonna keep doing it and keep doing it so i can get better at delivering both my audio and my video and of course i'll give you guys the feedback and about my experience using that as well so um i'm excited for that i'm excited for the 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 switchers and all that um those i will go into a lot later and let me address let me say a little bit before i sign off about the announcement i know a lot of people were expecting a different um kind of approach like especially when they said uh, we got update on our cameras a lot of people weren't thinking including me honestly weren't thinking about the broadcast or the studio cameras or oh, it turns out this camera now comes with ef lens i didn't like the micro four thirds um just like i said it's a studio camera but trust me i'm going to find out what on earth i can do with it in and outside the studio i know i'm going to push it beyond the limits i know i'm going to try to rig it up like never been done before uh because i really want to make it my 6k pro they know they hit jackpot like they know they hit that that's that's a that's a sweet spot for uh to go commercial with um there's a 6k pro 6k g2 6k uh, broadcast g2 and now we have the um studio 6k pro okay who knows what's coming next <laughs> all right thank you guys for watching like subscribe and i guess i'll see you in the next one peace